to my channel and welcome to my new subscribers i am so thankful for you all uh before we begin don't forget to follow me on facebook instagram and tiktok at cam tie handmade crochet so let's go ahead and begin so we're going to be working on um a bralette today and i'm going to use this pretty green here you know i my daughter's favorite color is green so i have a lot of green laying around i'm working on something for her now um i don't know if you saw the pictures in my community section but i do have pictures of what i'm making for her um so that is where i got the green from it comes in different colors i got it off of amazon you get 24 skeins they're about this size as you can see it's an asian company um it's a milk i guess milk cotton i don't i don't know you know but um it's a very nice yarn it's very soft um, very easy to work with so I'm going to leave that in the description box below I'm going to use my 4.5 millimeter hook and I'm not sure if we're going to need three stitch markers exactly but have you some stitch markers ready and I always tell you you don't have to use these type of stitch markers you can use a paper clip or a bobby pin whatever it is you want to so let's go ahead and get started okay so we're going to start off with our slip knot here and remove these stitch markers and go ahead and make my slip knot. I'm going to be working with my crochet ring today. Um, I hadn't been using it because my fingers have been kind of swollen. But I keep forgetting that you can adjust the ring. So the way that you loop it around is. And I do have a tutorial on that. On how to set up your ring. On how to use your ring. I have a full tutorial on how to do that. If you would like to watch that. So I went ahead and I made my slip knot. And as I say in the video. The ring will adjust to your finger or however it is, however it is that you crochet. So let's begin. We're going to start off with um, an uneven number of stitches. There's going to be 10 stitches. I mean 11 chains. And I'm going to skip one to have 10 chains in total. Um, this is for my bra size. You can make this bigger as you go along. And what I always like to do is I just like to try it on. I'm not really big with measurements and stuff like that. I'm just big with using a measuring tape, using your yarn. Um, if you already know your bust size, you should be fine. But for this tutorial, you can try on as you go along. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and chain 11 chains and we'll go from there. Seven, eight, nine, 10 and 11. So now we're going to skip that first chain and go into the next chain with a single crochet. Oops. Now that is the one thing about the yarn is it does tend to split a little bit. Um, I haven't had too many issues with it, but I did notice that um, depending on which scheme you're using, the texture, not so much as the texture, but um, the fact that it has so many you know it's kind of splitty if that's how you want to put it some of them are like that and some of them are not so like the white one that comes with the pack because it comes with different colors different shades of green and a white one and so the white one is more closer to what i would think would be cotton as opposed to this green one i have in my hand but they say that it's cotton so i don't really know how you would test that out so i'm going to continue on i'm going to make these 10 single crochets and i'll meet you when we get to that last one okay so i have my 10 single crochets here and now you want to chain one and then go ahead and turn your work so now you're going to do another row of single crochets going all the way across At the last one now in this last one we're going to go ahead 
and incorporate a stitch marker. Um, as I said earlier, we might not use all three of those stitch markers, but make sure that you have one around with you. I'm going to take this crochet ring off because my hand, my fingers are kind of swollen. So it's not acting the way I want it to act. It's kind of making me have to tug on the yarn. And it's not the ring, it's my fingers. So go ahead into that last single crochet. Now in this last single crochet, we're going to begin making our way around to the other side. So in that last single crochet, you want to put three single crochets in there. I don't like the fact that I'm struggling with this yarn here. And it's weird because the other skeins that I was using for my daughter's dress didn't give me this much of a hard time. But let's move on. So we're going to make three single crochets into that one stitch there. Make sure you, when you make your second single crochet to go ahead and incorporate your stitch marker in there. And then make your final single crochet into that space. So you want to have three single crochets into that very last stitch because we're coming around to the other side. We're going to start working that other side. <clears throat> So now, just like on the opposite side, you're going to go right into that very first stitch and just make single crochets all the way across. I know it's kind of hard to see in the beginning, but as you go, you're going to see your hole there. So that's my first one. This is my second one right here. And you want to make sure that you have 10 in total because that's what you have at the bottom. That's what's at the bottom. That's what's at the bottom of those single crochets you made on the other side. There's another row. So you're going to put your hook into each of those stitches there. And make sure that you have 10 in total. Not counting those three that you did around here. You're going to come after those three. That's when you begin to count. And when you get to the end, you should have 10 single crochets. So I'm going to continue on this other side. Remember, you're going right into that hole there, right underneath that single crochet from the other side. And just keep making your single crochets. And I'll be back. So I'm at the end now. Now we're going to turn our work and make our way coming back this way and just keep making our way back and forth. So you want to chain one. You want to make sure that you chain one because it's going to curl in if you do not. The tail part is going to begin to curl in if you do not put a chain. So when you make your chain, go ahead and turn your work. And then just make your single crochets going across. And that's the pattern on the beginning of your cup. So when you get to that single crochet up at the top, where you have your stitch marker in that place of your stitch marker you're going to put three single crochets again this is the peak of um, this is the peak of the cup so when you um, as you're getting bigger and bigger you want to stay in the middle it'll have your peak in the middle if your peak is not showing up in the middle when you get to that point and you add your three single crochets, if everything is kind of like off to the side and not in the middle, then something is incorrect. You're not putting in the correct number of stitches. Somewhere in there, it's getting lost. So we're going to go here into the one before that stitch marker. Now we're going to remove the stitch marker and go ahead and add three single crochets where that stitch marker was. It's the same space. After you make your second one, go ahead and put your stitch marker back into that space so that you don't get lost. And then we'll put our final single crochet in there. Okay, so come back around to the other side. And at this point, you want to decide whether or not you want to change your color or you want to continue with the same color. Um, I'm going to stick with the same color. But if you choose to change colors, you can do that. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to keep going. Keep making your way back and forth. 
every time you get to your stitch marker go ahead and put um, make your three single crochets make sure you put your stitch marker back into that second crochet that second single crochet and then continue on back and forth so I'm going to make a few more rows and you want to make two cups like that so I'm going to make one cup and make both of my cups and then I'm going to come back remember when you get to those three single crochets make sure that when you get to your stitch marker make sure that you put three single crochets into that space of your stitch marker and then put your stitch marker back into that second single crochet so that you don't have to worry about losing your space make this as big as you want keep trying it on over your breast or you can try it with the bra on or without that's up to you but keep trying it until you get it to the point where it's wide enough for you so i'm going to make a few more rows of this and when i come back i'm going to show you what to do from there okay so i'm back and i have both of my cups here i went and made both of the cups so we can continue on and it doesn't matter if it kind of folds in because you wanted to cup your breast anyway so it is going to fold in just a little bit but all of this is going to straighten out once you get started once you start making your single crochets so now we're at the last stitch here and in this last stitch i'm going to put two more single crochets and i'm doing that because we need to round this corner nice and smooth so i'm going to add two more single crochets to this last stitch here and then we'll keep going across So now that second single crochet counts for this first row for the for, for this row here that's your first one this is your second single crochet for each of your cups if you're making the same size as me you will have 25 single crochets going all the way across so now you're just making one single crochet into each of those rows that we made as you're going back and forth making your cup larger so the larger you make it the more single crochets you'll have on the bottom so as you can see as i'm making those single crochets it's going to line up and it's going to come all together everything should be in the middle each side of my panel i think has about six rows of single crochets so that's if you want it to be wider then naturally you'll have more rows and then you'll be adding more rows at the bottom for your single crochets so i'm going to continue making these single crochets going across we're going to leave the other one empty uh we're not going to put any single crochets on the other panel because we need to connect it and have one row of single crochets going all the way across so i'm going to continue making my single crochets and i will come back when i'm done so we can attach the other cup to the other side remember if you're making the same size as me you should have 25 single crochets when you're done and that does not include the three single crochets that we did in the beginning of the row i'll be back okay so i'm at the end of the row here and i have the other cup already done it's okay if it folds in a little bit it's going to naturally do that anyway because it cups around your breast so just grab your other piece when you come to the end now for this part you can either do a couple more chains if you want a bigger gap in the middle so i just put two chains there and then go in to the other one that doesn't have the single crochets and make your single crochets across so go into the first stitch into the first yeah the first stitch on the bottom of that second cup and then just make your single crochets going across and so you get all the way to the other side so just like you did with the first cup just do the same thing with these single crochets and then when i get to the end um when i get to the other side of the cup i'll be back okay so i'm at the last stitch i'm going to put my last single crochet here on the side here and chain one so now we have everything attached with those two chains in the middle make your chain your last single crochet and chain one and turn your work 
Now we're going to bring these together even more and make some more rows down at the bodice. So go ahead and turn your work after you chain one and make another row of single crochets. Just make those all the way across. When you get to the middle, depending on how many chains you've made, go ahead and put a single crochet into each of however many chains you made and then continue making your way across. If you didn't make any chains in between, just keep going across and I'll meet you right here at the end. And I'm, okay, so I've done two rows of single crochets. I just want to show you what that looks like. You can make more rows if you want to. So I'm at the end of the row. Each cup has 25 single crochets going across. Then you have your two stitches that we made in the middle and then another 25 on the other side. So if you want to, you can stop here and just make your straps, which would go here on the side. I'm going to make a few more rows, come down about five more rows, but I'm going to make them double crochets instead of single crochets. I'm just going to make a bunch of double crochets going back and forth. And then when I get down far enough, I'll show you what to do from there. You can continue doing that if you want to, or you can stop. But I'm going to make a few more rows, about five rows of double crochets, and I'll be back. Okay, so I decided to put it on the mannequin to show you what it looks like. This is how it's coming out. I went ahead and put some cross stitches over here. I'll show you that in a minute. But this is what she looks like. If you want to make that gap bigger in the middle, you can add more single crochets. But as you can see, it comes around and curves very nicely around the breast. My mannequin almost fell. <laughs> so, um, uh, yeah, it's it's cupping out. It's uh, coming out great. It's cupping around the breast like it's supposed to. And I just did a row of some cross stitches here going all the way across if you want to make this cross stitch you will need an uneven number but if you have an even number of stitches you can start off with a one double crochet and then go ahead and with your cross pattern i do have a tutorial on how to make this cross stitch so i'm going to leave that link um, down at the bottom of this video so that you can check that out on how to do that cross stitch but if you don't want to you can make some simple double crochets going all the way across or however it is you want to make that so I'm going to continue on with making um, actually we're going to make our straps for the top for the peaks of the cups and for the bottom so again if you want to learn that uh, cross stitch tutorial just go ahead and check that out so I'm going to fix this and cut off this yarn and I'll be back so we can continue Okay, so making your straps is fairly easy. Just go ahead and put your hook into the last stitch of the row and add your yarn onto here. And go ahead and just begin chaining. I normally make about 50 chains just to give it enough room so that I can tie a nice bow in the back if you need to. If you want to make it longer, you can. This part is completely up to you. It is totally your preference on how loose or tight you want it to be. Naturally, if you make it too short, then it's going to be tighter as opposed to if you make it longer, then you have a little more breathing room to adjust. So I'm going to continue making my chains here. And then um, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and the same thing at the peaks of the cups for your front portion. So when you do get to that part, once you've done your chain here, you want to take your darning needle and just bring the string around. Just wrap it around that chain so that it's to make it secure. And then go ahead and weave in your ends when you need to. So I'm going to do that for each of the sides. I'm going to do that for this side. And do the same thing over on this side. Make another 50 chains on this side. And go ahead and weave in your ends to make sure that it stays secure. Then when you get to the peak portion, when you get to your cups, right at the tip of the cup where you have your three single crochets, in that second single crochet is where you want to put your hook so that you can begin making your strap. So you would put it right here into that second single crochet of those three single crochets that you made 
and just go ahead and add your yarn and make your chains from here. And again, I would make this about 50 chains. If you want it longer, you can do that, but you want to make sure that it comes comfortably around your neck. So I'm going to do that for each of these sides, all four of those sections. And then I'm going to be back and I'm going to have her on the mannequin so you can see what that looks like. So I'll be back. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the mannequin. Nice and long chains here. And again, you can make them long as you want. And I like how that detail came out with the crisscross in the front, the cross stitch in the front. And this is what she looks like on the back. Excuse my string. I missed a string when I was using my darning needle and weaving in my ends. I missed that string. So that is what it looks like on the back. Nothing complicated. Very, very simple. And because it's a, a lightweight yarn, if it gets wet, it's not going to be really heavy on you like acrylic would be. So I want to thank you for watching this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Camp Thai Handmade Crochet. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.